In the midst of California's severe housing shortage and a federal tax overhaul, a statewide ballot initiative was quietly submitted this fall with the idea of getting long-time, older owners to sell their homes, freeing them up for younger families to buy. The proposal from the California Association of Realtors would expand Proposition 13, the landmark constitutional amendment passed by voters in 1978 that has kept homeowners' property taxes artificially low over the years, even as their home values have doubled or even quadrupled. Under the initiative, homeowners who are over 55 or severely disabled would be able to keep those lower tax obligations for life, regardless of how many times they move, as long as they stay in California. A lot of older people, and I'm one of those older people, by the way, are feeling locked into their properties, said Alex Creel, a lobbyist for the association, which is gathering signatures to qualify the measure. They're holding onto their property not because they like their house, but because they like their taxes. The proposal has touched a nerve in a state profoundly shaped by Proposition 13, which buffered homeowners from sharp tax increases while slashing revenue for schools and public services. Proponents argue that it could help solve the housing shortage by allowing empty nesters to leave their longtime family homes without a steep tax hike, clearing the way for new buyers with children to move in. But many are wary of the idea, predicting it will only widen the generational wealth gap at the expense of public schools, local services, and the poor. This seems like, let's solve Prop. 13 by having more of it, said Laura Clark, executive director of San Francisco-based YIMBY Action, a pro-development, millennial-led group that has joined others in calling for reforms of the decades-old property tax law. We're talking about, once again, another tax giveaway to people who are wealthy. The Legislative Analyst's Office estimates the annual losses in tax revenue from giving older owners a break would grow to $1 billion or more for schools and at least $1 billion for cities and counties. And that's even after taking into account the higher taxes paid by those buyers who would presumably purchase some of the new inventory. A $1 billion hit is the last thing that California public schools need as they grapple with growing pension costs and enrollment declines accelerated by the housing crisis, even in traditionally stable districts like Albany and Cupertino Union, said Jody London, who has served on the school board of the financially struggling Oakland School District since 2009. As London sees it, the proposal just further digs in the shovel of the prop. 13 Problems But Cheryl Shores, a 67-year-old Martinez retiree who worries that her daughter and son-in-law won't be able to afford to buy a home in the Bay Area, thinks the measure could help shake up the market, bringing more young families into neighborhoods with strong schools. She said she knows a number of elderly widows living alone in the same beautiful, single-family homes in Lafayette and Moraga where they raised their children.